and the United Nations International Center in Nigeria trained journalists on the importance of understanding mental health disorder and how it should be reported to the general public. The two-day mental training workshop for journalists was organized to mark the World Mental Health Day, which is celebrated globally. Plus TV Emmanuel Ehijan completes the report. Mental health disorder is one of the most misunderstood health conditions amongst humans across the world, despite numerous attempts by WHO organization, psychologists, as well as specialized institutions to address it. These misconceptions about mental health disorder and ways to understand the underlying factors are the reasons for organizing the training program. Many people are going through a lot of stresses in, in these times and we should be careful about mental health situations of a number of people and we should not just say that a person, mental health, uh, because many times we attribute that to culture, to beliefs, religions and so on, but mental health is about all of us. It's not people who are considered to be mad or walking naked on the streets, but it's about everybody. Government has a role to put in place measures for accessible um, uh, mental health uh, uh, support for all people um, just like you provide support for health for other health physical health there should be support mechanisms for mental health this experts explains more about mental health disorder its symptoms ways to identify cases as well as support mechanisms Nigerians also will need to learn how to rest. That's number one. Um, we must know when to say, I think I've had enough, let me go take a rest. It's very important. And then uh, number two, um, for us to be able to cope very well uh, with, uh, with stress, there's need for us to understand what is causing our stress in the first place. Once we understand what, because uh, stress for individuals are different. Mm -hmm. What could be uh, stress for you would be different from what is stress for me. So once I understand what my stress is, I will now begin to find a way to deal with that uh, stress. Before now, the general understanding in the society, when they hear of mental health, what comes to their mind is, oh, what they call mad person on the street, you know, and saying that mental health problem, a spiritual problem, is bewitchment, genes, and stuff like that. But whereas in the actual fact that mental health conditions are like any other chronic medical conditions, they are treatable, and people with mental health condition can live a good life like any other person. This is the narrative we want them to change out there and also to be able to communicate what the government of Nigeria is doing in order to address the mental well-being of Nigerians. The role of the media in supporting the advocacy was also highlighted at the training. We have that uh, tool, our pens, our cameras, our microphones, and the way we write is to tell the world that mental health, uh, there, are, there, are, there are interventions that are changing, and we need to change with it. People need to know. Stigmatization must stop. Um, treatments are available. Yes, we don't have enough of human experts, human like mental health experts, to deal with the situation. But some of these things are doable, and it is within our purview as journalists to push them out. And as we mark the World Mental Day, we should not make it a one-off. It should be something that we would uh, follow up so that we can close the huge gap that has to come with prevention, treatment, and care. The take from this training workshop is that mental health disorder is not a disease and it can be treated with love and understanding from the family and the society in general. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.